After a turbulent few weeks for the royal family, the Queen appeared again in good spirits as she was joined by daughter-in-law Camilla to thank volunteers from the Royal Voluntary Service in a heartwarming video call. The Queen has hailed the wonderful work of the army of volunteers who stepped forward during the pandemic, telling them they have been a great, great help over this difficult year. The 94-year-old monarch, who has been patron of the Royal Voluntary Service for almost 70 years, held a video call with the Duchess of Cornwall, the organisation's president and volunteers on Tuesday. Her Majesty, calling from Windsor Castle, appeared thrilled to see her daughter-in-law, starting the call with a cheery, Ah, good morning! Hello, Camilla. The Duchess, speaking from her London base, Clarence House, replied, Good morning. How are you? Fine, thank you, replied the Queen. Very nice to see you, Camilla said warmly. The call released today shows the first time the Queen has appeared since she was reunited with her husband, Prince Philip, on Tuesday at Windsor Castle, after he was released from King Edward VII's hospital in London after a one-month stay in hospital. It also comes as the royal family continues to deal with a slew of negative news from Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's TV interview with Oprah Winfrey, which aired last week. The Royal Voluntary Service has been at the forefront of mobilising volunteers since the outbreak of COVID-19, recruiting almost one million people since this time last year. Alongside Good Sam, it was commissioned by NHS England to deliver the Health Services Volunteer Responders Scheme to support those in need, with more than 1.6 million tasks completed to date. These include check-in and chat calls, delivering prescriptions and food shopping for those unable to leave their homes. The scheme has also recently been extended to support the vaccination rollout. For the Royal Voluntary Service Scheme featured in the video call released today, the Monarch and the Duchess of Cornwall, who are patron and president of the Royal Voluntary Service respectively, heard from numerous volunteers about their experiences. They then paid tribute to everyone across the UK who has given up their time to support their communities. The two women appeared to match their outfits, both wearing blue, which may have been a nod to the NHS. Praising the work of the 12.7 million people in the country who have stepped forward to volunteer since last March, Her Majesty said, Thank you very much indeed. Very interesting to hear what you have been doing. I think it's wonderful work and I do thank everybody for and all the others too who have been volunteering. It's been a great, great help over this very difficult year. Camilla added, thank you all very much for all you've done throughout the year, throughout the pandemic. We couldn't have done this without you. The Royals were hosted on the call by Royal Voluntary Service Chief Executive Catherine Johnston, CBE, who shared her pride at how Britain has stepped forward to volunteer during these unprecedented times. She then presented four volunteers with the Royal Voluntary Service. Her Majesty and Her Royal Highness were introduced to ex-police officer Tracy Clark from Gateshead, who volunteers with the Royal Voluntary Services Gateshead Home Library Service for the past year. While Sue Cadwallander from Northumberland told the Royal guests how she got into volunteering through her son, Sam, who already lent his time to their local Royal Voluntary Service Centre. NHS volunteer responder Anderson Akponiware from Middlesbrough explained how he juggles supporting his community while studying for his PhD and homeschooling. At the end of the call, Simon Holmes, an NHS volunteer responder from Stockton-on-Tees, shared how accessing mental health services himself had encouraged him to sign up to the Royal Voluntary Service. It was obviously last year when the pandemic hit, when I saw the reach out for volunteers, I decided I wanted to do something. If I could give back in just a little way, he said, the whole experience is very humbling.